So we are answering question number two in um, <coughs> section 5.6 of the Math 20-2 workbook. Um, so I'll maybe just pull it over here a second. Oh, watch it probably shrunk up. Oh, there we go. Um, okay, so a fruit juice company takes a random sample to check the volume of cartons for juice. For a sample of 300 cartons, the mean volume is 1.1 liters with a margin of error of plus or minus 0.1 liters. The result is accurate 99% of the time. And we need to state the confidence interval um, for the mean volume of the juice cartons. So basically all they're asking for is <clears throat> like if we have, hold on, sorry, I don't know why this question keeps disappearing when I move it. Um, so if we have the mean volume is uh, 1.1 liters and there's a margin of error of, of plus or minus 0 0.1 liters, in this case, um, our confidence interval is confidence interval. I'm trying to figure out the short way to write that. Um, confidence interval is basically just what would be the range of the mean, including um, our, what's the word for that? Margin of error. There we go. So essentially the confidence interval is going to be 1.1 minus 0 0.1 and 1.1 plus 0 0.1. So basically the confidence interval is going to be 1.1 minus 0.1 is 1.0 liters to 1.1 plus 0 0.1 is 1.2 liters. Okay, so those are basically, that's basically our confidence interval there. Um, the other thing that it asks is three samples, for this one I'll maybe move it over again because <clears throat> it's helpful if you can see the chart they have. Three other samples were taken using the same confidence level, but the margin of error for each sample was mixed up. So basically these margin of margins of error were mixed up and mismatched with which sample size they went with. Um, Complete the table by matching the correct margin of error with each sample size and give a reason for your answer. So basically what happens is we know that our margin of error is going to decrease the more samples that you've taken. So with a larger sample size, you would expect to see a smaller margin of error because basically, um, like... For example, if you took two cartons and one of them was 1.2 liters and the other one was 1.0 liters, um, you would be like your range would be a lot greater than if you sample lots and lots of different ones where the more you sample, the closer you're going to get to the actual average. So essentially what we would say here is they told us that for 300 cartons, we had plus or minus 0 0.1 liters. And the margin of errors that they give us here are 0 0.15, 0 0.05, and 0 0.20. And the sample sizes are 500. Then we would have 300 in between here, 150 and 75. So I'm just going to see if there's any way I can still have that in here while I'm showing you guys this. Okay, so basically what I would say here is um, we have 75, 150. I'm just going to include the 300 that we were told because that will help us to find a baseline and 500. So we know that 300 is plus or minus 0 0.1. So the only um, margin of error that's less than that would go with the larger sample size, which is plus or minus 0 0.05. And then here we have two higher margins of error, 0.15 and 0.20. So 0.15 should go um, with the next lowest sample. Um, so it's going to be the 150 plus or minus 0 0.15. And then for 75, we're going to have um, the highest, which would be plus or minus 0 0.20. Okay, so your reason for that is that the larger the sample size is, the less the margin of error is. Um, 
And yeah, that's pretty much it. So hopefully that helps you to understand how to do that question.